Hello and welcome to Spruce Grove Dodge. My name's Shawnee and today we're going to be taking a walk around this 2015 Dodge Journey RT Edition in black. Underneath the hood, she has a 3.6 liter V6 engine putting on 283 horsepower, pardon me. Daytime running light signal light indicators as well as some fog lights down in that bumper. Nice bug deflector on the front. Coming around to your front tire, here they are, Kumo all-season tires, mounted on top of a 19-inch factory rim. Painted match mirrors, they are defrosted and powered. Roof rack on the top, very handy. Very, very nice. Well, let me go grab the keys and I'll show you the inside. Hopping into this beautiful journey is your factory key fob. It has your unlock, lock, command start, and panic button. To start the vehicle with the command start, just simply ensure it is locked and hit that half circle button twice. Beautiful. Now this is a proximity key, so you simply just have to have it in your pocket, in your purse, walk up to the vehicle, put your hand over, it unlocks. You want to lock it back up, just hit that button there. Lots of room to get in and out. Nice red stitching all along. You have a nice little compartment there with a cup holder. All your power options, unlock and lock. Your power window options to lock those back windows and your power mirrors. The lighting options are right there. You have some nice all-weather floor mats, easy to take out and clean. Power adjustable driver's seat, beautiful leather. Again, with that red stitching because it's an RT edition. Very, very nice. Let me hop in. So simply just push the foot, put your foot on the brake and push the button. It starts it up properly. ABS traction control, tire monitoring system. This beautiful journey only has 19,041 kilometers. Tons and tons of life left in her, but make sure you talk to one of our finance managers about any extended warranties that you may want to purchase just to ensure that you are fully covered. So that screen there is controlled by these buttons here, so I'll push those and go through that. So up at the very top, we're facing northwest, six degrees outside, and then our radio station we're listening to. Then below that, you have your fuel economy, vehicle speed, trip info, that's your tire pressure monitoring system, vehicle info, stored messages, and if you want to turn that menu off. Like I said, I was just pushing these buttons here. Above that is your Bluetooth and voice recognition buttons, audio controls in the back of both sides. Then you do have your cruise control buttons on this side. Coming into the center, nice large touch screen. You have your AM, FM, satellite radio, CD player, heated seats on both sides and heated steering wheel for your passenger. Um, dual temperature climate controls up here and then you do have the rear climate controls as well. And of course, Bluetooth, definitely handy to have. Your rear entertainment and settings are right there. And if I put it into reverse, you have a nice large backup camera as well as rear park assist. Definitely a nice feature to have. Just below that you have your hazard lights, AC, all your climate controls can be controlled by down, um, from down here as well. Then you have your volume and tuner as well down here. Um, that's for SD card, so if you have media on SD card and you want to play it through the touch screen, you can. And then you have your CD player as well. Nice little compartment there with a 12 volt plug-in, cup holders, gear shifter is in the center. Then you have the center console here, the headphones for the rear entertainment center, an auxiliary and USB port for media options, and then you have another 12 volt plug-in for charging. Lockable glove compartment. Journey has this on the passenger seat, which is a nice little feature to have keeps everything hidden up here you have a spot for the sunglasses one and it does turn into a mirror so you can see what the kiddos are doing back there then you have the buttons for the sunroof which is right there and then of course you have that sunshade and then up on the um, visor here is your programmable garage door buttons for home very very nice well there's still tons to see so stick with me and I'll show you the rest Alrighty, so I got that back door open for you. As you can see, tons and tons of rooms to get in and out. Another little compartment with a cup holder here. All weather floor mats in the back as well. Compartments on the back on this side. And then you have a 12 volt plug-in and 115 volt plug-in. 
up here you have your rear DVD player remote is right there and then your rear climate controls in the center here you can pull this down and you have a couple cup holders as well as to get back there's a little lever here that you pull and it pushes the seat forward and up so then you have lots of room to get into the back very very handy seats do fold down completely flat so if you do need that extra room for cargo area you can use that some molded mud flaps dual exhaust your rear parking sensors all your badging is in chrome rear window is defrosted and you have that rear windshield wiper handle to open up the doors back here so a little flashlight there a 12 volt plug in this spot down there and then like I said these seats do fold forward so simply just pull up on that lever and push it forward cargo space definitely handy to have that's for sure of course it has all your safety anchors and child locks that you would need if you're hauling around any little ones this seat does fold forward as well lots of room on your passenger side as well a little cargo net there and some more space on the door. Well, if you're interested in taking this beautiful journey for a test drive, just simply click or call. We're down here at 200 St. Matthews Avenue, Spruce Grove, Alberta. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.